Hi, Mighty Mommy here, and I'm ready to share some quick and dirty parenting tips with you that will help make your life as a parent a little bit easier and a lot more fun. I'm your host, Cheryl Butler. The new school year is hectic enough for families adjusting to new schedules, teachers, after-school activities, sports, and of course, homework. But for families who have a high school senior in the mix, this time of year is even more stressful because the majority of seniors are also starting the college application process. With so many colleges offering applicants the opportunity to apply early, prospective freshmen are required to start preparing their applications as soon as possible. Mighty Mommy has been through the college application process three times now. The excitement, the stress, the waiting, it can all be overwhelming. That's why today I'm sharing seven tips to help make the experience as smooth and painless as possible for you and your high school senior. So tip number one for the college application process is to get organized early. Getting and staying organized is the key when filling out the mounds of paperwork that accompany college applications. Read the directions on each application. Know what's required of you when it's required, and then enter this information on a planning calendar. Record meaningful dates and deadlines that you must meet in completing your applications. Decide which standardized tests you want or need to take, and add the test dates as well as the registration deadlines on your calendar. Post the calendar someplace where it can be easily referenced by you and your student. I prefer the refrigerator or a family bulletin board, if you have one. And tip number two, stay ahead of deadlines. Help your child establish his own deadlines for sending him the materials that are at least one week ahead of the actual deadlines. Then, work backwards to establish dates by which he'll need completed essays and letters of recommendation, allowing plenty of time, usually six to eight weeks, for these documents to be generated. By waiting until the last minute to get things started, your child gives up control of the process, potentially allowing for a disorganized or even incomplete application to be filed. Tip number three, enlist the help of your child's high school guidance department. Most often, high schools assist students in compiling and submitting their applications and will host a parent night at the beginning of the year that deals strictly with college preparations. I've found these to be super helpful, and I've utilized the support they offer whenever I felt overwhelmed with the entire college admissions process. Just be sure your child becomes very familiar with how much or how little her high school will help so that there will be no unexpected surprises. And if your school utilizes a data management system such as Naviance, help your student learn how to use it properly. Tip number four, help your child pitch himself to a college. Today's colleges want to feel a sense of passion and commitment from students who are applying for admission. This gives your child a chance to set himself apart tell his own story, conveying important things that will help an admissions director learn why he would be a good fit for their college community. If your child has difficulty writing essays or isn't comfortable with this part of the application process, help him make a list of qualities, personality traits, talents, achievements, and personal experiences that he can reflect on to begin with. A wonderful resource is the book On Writing the College Application Essay the 25th Anniversary Edition, The Key to Acceptance at the College of Your Choice, written by Harry Bald. We've used this two times now, and both of my children have really gotten a lot out of it. Tip number five, review the common application. Beginning the application process can be daunting. Luckily, though, the common application can save you a whole lot of time and effort, and almost 500 schools are now members. While you cannot begin filling out the application for the fall of 2014 until, which just passed August 1st, you can preview this year's application to get a sense of what information you'll need. For example, you can plan ahead for the extracurricular activities page, which should be filled out strategically. The order in which the activities are listed communicates to the colleges what matters most to your child. Having your child complete as much of the common application as he can over the summer and early fall, can be a huge time saver once school is really back in full session. Tip number six, complete the free application for student financial aid, also known as the FAFSA. The free application for student financial aid, FAFSA, 
is something that you and your student will want to complete together, and there are deadlines involved. The federal deadlines for the upcoming school year is June 30th, and the state and school deadlines will vary. In addition, some types of financial aid are first come, first serve, so it benefits you and your family to get the FAFSA turned in early. And tip number seven, try to enjoy the process. Applying for college is a huge milestone for both you and your child. As daunting and overwhelming as the entire process can be, it's something that you and your child can work on together, allowing for some opportune moments to spend some extra time together. Don't let the tedious nature of the application process get the best of either of you. Instead, focus on the excitement and joy that lies ahead for your child as he gets ready to begin a wonderful new journey in life. Have you experienced any helpful ways to streamline the college application process? Share your thoughts in the comment section at MightyMommy.QuickAndDirtyTips.com or post your ideas on the Mighty Mommy Facebook page. You can also connect with me on Twitter at Mighty Mommy or email me at Mommy at QuickAndDirtyTips.com and don't forget, visit my family-friendly boards at Pinterest.com slash MightyMommyQDT. Enjoy the upcoming week with your family, and until next time, happy parenting!